it's your lovely Abby Dagren and welcome back to my channel lovelies. Today I'll be continuing a series on my channel that deals with natal chart analysis and today I'll be doing one on Margot Robbie. I'll be speaking on her personality traits, her characteristic traits based off of her natal chart and how a lot of the placements in her natal chart has led to a lot of her success. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video lovelies. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Please also make sure you hit that like button because I know you guys will love this video. And last but not least, please make sure you share this video with everyone you know, whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, or anyone who really likes Margo. Now let's get right into the video, lovelies. Margot Robbie was born on July 2nd, 1990, so this qualifies her to be a Cancer. She's someone who tends to be very much intuitive with her emotions, and it makes sense because Cancer is a water sign. She's someone who tends to be very emotional, comes with water signs as well. She's very stable. This is part of her cardinal placement and steadfast and this makes her a great listener so being able to feel someone on a personal level is something important but also being able to use logic to really get a better understanding as to who people are is someone is something that's very beneficial to her as well with this placement she is someone who knows how to really get to know people and understand people and she's able to use these traits in order for her to benefit her in the long run so this is a very great placement for her to have up next would be her moon in scorpio this is can be a very difficult placement for her to have as well um, with this placement, it is the opposite of Taurus, and Taurus is a great place in a moon, so emotions are something that can be very hard for this placement. She's someone who is very much alluring, very intuitive, and because she is a water sign, she's someone who tends to be very much open in regards to her appearance. She may be intimidating to others, and this is makes sense because... Scorpio is ruled by Mars, so Mars, they tend to have a lot of intimidation with it, even though it's not intentional, but people can feel this way towards her, but she can read people like a book. Having this water sign placement can make her very much intuitive, and it's very helpful for her because she's able to know what to do, what not to do, and what's good for her, what to keep secretive, and what to keep open. Next up would be her Mercury in Cancer, and with this placement, she tends to be someone who is very expressive with how she feels. She's very great at listening, just like her sun placement. She's someone who is going to figure out what's going on below the surface, so she's not a surface-level type of listener or a surface-level type of talker. She really wants to make sure she's able to get what is happening in a very clear manner she's someone who's also going to make sure she's able to speak nice words to people able to say the right things and what not to say to make somebody happy who's not really in a good mood she's also someone who tends to go through a lot of her emotions and it can take a time for her to really process those objectively, but she's someone who's very familiar with emotional bond and she's someone who knows how to really get to know people and talk to people. Up next would be her Venus in Gemini, and with this placement, she's someone who's a bit social, she's very talkative, she could be like a chameleon in a type of way. She's someone who loves to use her wit to attract other people. She is playful and may like to tease a lot in relationships. She's someone who's very intelligent, very logical, 
very much lighthearted and very versatile. Makes sense because it is a mutable sign in the Venus placement. And she's attracted to someone who has these qualities as well. She may be someone who has a big group of friends. She wants to have good conversations and good manners. She tends to omit rather than tell a tale. She's never going to hold her partner down in a way to make them not free. She's someone who's very much a natural flirt and she tends to like variety and her change may come frequently. Up next would be her Mars and Aries and this is actually a great placement for her to have. She's someone who loves to be at the head of the curve. Aries is move, is ruled by Mars, so having this placement, she's someone who's going to forge ahead with starting something new, regardless of what other people say or think of. She's someone who has vitality in regards to her strength, willpower, and she is someone who is going to have a lot of leadership skills. She's someone who's outstanding and successful in leadership, and she's someone who might like social movements. She loves entrepreneurship, and she's someone who has a fast reaction to certain things, but she's someone who's also able to fizzle out that emotion. So I have a video on Mars and Aries in my playlist. However, they're the types of people who will get upset, but once they get it out, they're pretty good at forgetting stuff and not really think about things very quickly. So this is a very great placement for her to have. Up next would be her Jupiter and Cancer and this is such a great placement to have. Having Jupiter and Cancer, Pisces or Sagittarius are very beautiful placements. They are the types of people who are emotionally savvy and have the ability to deeply process her connections and reactions to people and the moments around her. They tend to be very lucky people. So the three placements I just spoke on they tend to be so lucky in regards to finding good things whether it's spouses or whether it's just life things they are very good at attracting luck and good fortune and she's someone who has a cancer stellium because this is her third placement in cancer so this is very much her as a person, she has a lot of cancer energy in her, but she's very devoted and very receptive, and this is a great placement for her to have. Up next would be her Saturn and Capricorn, and this is actually another great placement to have, even though it can be a little challenging, but it's very great for her to have this placement. She's someone who is very ambitious and will do her best to make it to the top of her field. If you do look at her, you do see that she's been able to play in a lot of movies that have been very successful. And she's one of the greatest actresses out here. She's someone who has worked very hard in order for her to really get to the places that she's been in her lifetime. She's someone who is very great at being patient in a way because even though she has her Mars and Aries, I feel like this placement teaches her in a way to really be patient and really trust the process knowing how to continuously keep doing the things that you want to do in life even though it may take a long time and she's been able to really do that for herself so it's very beneficial even though it can be hard but in the long run is great up next would be her uranus and capricorn and with this place, and she's someone who is going to make sure she's planning for the future as much as possible. And this makes her an automatic innovator. So because of this, she's someone who's going to make sure she does what she needs in her life in order for her to really have a good future for herself. And make sure that she does things and makes things that are very different and are very much not used to in society in order for her to really get a good future so whether it is an experiment whether it is something that society needs and longer or later down the line she's able to really talk about it or benefit from that idea something that really is great for her and she's been able to really have a good future for herself if she's able to do things that are very innovative and are very different so this explains her uranus and capricorn up next would be her neptune and capricorn and with this place she tends to focus on ways to increase her power wealth and influence and 
This is her third Capricorn placement. So this gives her a Capricorn stellium. So she has a lot of Cancer energy and a lot of Capricorn energy. And it's amazing because they're both different. So Capricorn and Cancer are both sister signs. So they're the opposite. But she has both of them in her sign. So she's balanced in a way she's someone who's going to make sure she works as hard as she does and she does work hard in all of her projects she is always working she's always doing different movies or doing different things and her power is very much there in hollywood she does have a lot of wealth and she does have a lot of influence to this day people talk about her in regards to her movie roles so a lot of things that she's done in the past really does influence her right now so this is a very interesting placement for her up next would be her lovely pluto and scorpio so because she was born between the years of 1984 and 1995 this gives her the title of being a part of generation y and she is a millennial so millennials tend to always look deeper into any situation to discover what's really going on behind the scenes with this placement they are very much open-minded to different things maybe the generations before them or previous to them they weren't the types of people who talked about things that aren't really important but millennials talk about things that previous generations did not want to talk about or what previous generations just didn't feel was needed to talk about so they're very open-minded to different things and they're very much always going to make sure that they are looking deeper into society and how they can fix it to give other generations that information. Up next would be her lovely North Known in Aquarius. And with this placement, she will need to learn how to develop these attributes with these uncovered hidden gifts and talents. So objectivity is important desire for friendship, making decisions for the group's best interests, willingness to share unconventional ideas, willingness to champion humanitarian causes, active participation in groups, awareness of equality, relating to others as individuals apart from their specific roles, creating win-win situations, recognizing how others are very special as well, being unusual, learning the way of the inventor, creating and connecting to all different types of friendships, learning to open up her heart and build fulfilling relationships with those around her, learning to share her emotions with others, and focusing her energies on being unique for people who love it. Up next would be her lovely Chiron and Cancer. So with this placement, she may have had the wound of nourishment. And this is something that can be very difficult for Chirons and Cancers because they probably didn't have parents who really nurtured them. So they had to learn how to let others nurture them or to nurture themselves. That's something that's very hard for them because in nature, Cancers are nurturers. But if you have this wound, having somebody give you that nourishment is something that is not what you want so she has to really realize and understand that it's okay that her mother issues may be something that affects that but it's okay for her to receive nurturing because she deserves it and anyone with this placement does as well up next would be her ascendant slash rising in cancer and with this placement she's someone who's very much protective in regards to her appearance, she's very empathetic, very gentle, but very, very patriotic. She can be moody sometimes, but she has a very familiar aura about herself. You feel at home when you're with her. She's sensitive to her surroundings. She seems shy when meeting strangers. She's typically caring and sweet. When withdrawn, she can be moody and very sensitive, but she needs for security and structure in her life. She does not do casual relationships. She's a great listener and enjoys conversations. She enjoys comfort and possibly collecting. And she's someone who loves to be comfortable in her life. And she really strives and works hard to really get that in her life as well. So this is a very nice and beautiful placement. And this is very great for her to have. Last but not least is her lovely Midheaven and Taurus. So with this placement, 
She's someone who's very consistent in her career. She's someone who's very reliable in her career, very tactful, pleasant, and resourceful. And this is the image that people get from her in regards to her public image with her career. So she's the type of person who's going to be toughing it out. She loves being in charge and she loves spotting opportunities. She's also someone who loves to be very much consistent in her career so she's the type of person who will be in a career for a long time and building up that career based off of that because she sees true security in her working long in a career and establishing herself in her career so this is great for her and anyone with this placement she's someone who's not going to be thrown off the course easily and it's going to work hard in order for her to get what she deserves Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Please let me know down below did you learn more about her as to who she is as a person and in regards to her career and her success. Please also let me know down below who else you guys would want me to do a natal chart analysis on. Please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you've hit that notification bell. Please make sure you hit that like button and share this video with everyone you know, like your friends, family members, enemies, or anyone who really loves this content. Last but not least, please make sure you're following me on all of my social media accounts from my Facebook down to my podcast, my Gael Beauty, my Etsy store to my Instagram, and my PayPal that is linked down below. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.